French Prime Minister François Fillon has arrived in Beijing for a three-day visit. His trip is aimed at expanding trade between France and China, especially in the production of nuclear energy. Shen Le brings us more details. Premier Wen Jiabao welcomed the French Prime Minister to China. The Premier says both China and France have agreed to expand their strategic partnership on the basis of equal treatment and mutual respect. Fillon says China and France have a long friendship dating back more than 40 years and should work to improve the relationship. Later on Monday, Vice Premier Li Keqiang and François Fillon announced that construction had started on the Taishan nuclear power plant, a Sino-French project in China's southern province of Guangdong. The project plays a very positive and important role in promoting the use of advanced nuclear technology between China and France. It strengthens bilateral trade and pushes forward the development of overall bilateral relations. The French Prime Minister also highlighted the significance of the cooperation. I wish to highlight the importance of these agreements. Because I think our nuclear cooperation is rooted in both our republics' aim to value technological innovation and energy independence. These agreements were also proof of the solid relations between China and France. The project is a part of an 11.9 billion dollar deal signed in 2007 when French President Nicolas Sarkozy visited China. Under the agreement, France Arriva Group will sell two nuclear reactors to China Guangdong Nuclear Power Corporation and provide uranium to fuel the reactors until 2026. The French Prime Minister will also meet with President Hu Jintao and the top legislator Wu Bangguo during his three-day visit. Shen Le, CCTV. Over the years, China has signed nuclear cooperation agreements with about 20 countries. France is one of China's most important partners in the nuclear energy field. In April 2009, China and France renewed their agreement on cooperation in the peaceful use of nuclear energy. The document stated that since the first protocol was signed in 1982, both sides have carried out proactive and efficient coordination. The three-year protocol, the tenth of its kind, includes efforts in radioactive waste treatment, controllable nuclear fusion, and personnel training. In November, China Guangdong Nuclear Power Group and Arriba of France signed an 8 billion euro nuclear energy deal, the biggest commercial contract ever signed by France's nuclear energy industry. The two sides will work together to establish two European pressurized water reactors at Taishan in Guangdong. The AFP news service says during French Prime Minister François Fillon's visit, China and France may sign nuclear cooperation contracts worth 1.5 billion euros. It is reported that Electric de France and Arriva Group are pushing for a new deal to build more nuclear power plants in Guangdong. France also intends to promote another two projects, which include the construction of an institute of nuclear research in China. Wang Xiqing, CCTV. During a visit by French Prime Minister François Fillon, China and de France have signed a deal on airplane engine production. According to the deal, AV China Industrial and Technology Company will join hands with CFM International to set up an engine assembly line. It will provide engines for China's domestically made large. Passenger aircraft, the C919. CFM International is a joint venture between General Electric and France's Safran Group, with each company holding 50% stake.